Okay, so I have my picture, and basically what I'm going to be doing is, I gotta be careful because these are inks, I put my, dil my dilution inks in here, and then these three paints are actually the Distress Paints by, ooh, you're not gonna be able to see, it's gonna be too dark, by Tim Holtz, it's by Ranger. So, I put those in there, and then I have my Jane Davenport watercolors, those are the brights, and then I have the neutrals, I don't have her new ones yet, they haven't had them at Michael's, and then I also do have a whole box full of watercolor paints that are in tubes, so... That's what I'm going to be working on, and basically what I'm going to be doing is throwing down paint. Okay, so I have purple, I have like a yellow orange, I have a red, and I have a, a teal blue color. So I did back this onto a board with glue dots. I need to make sure that I can get this back up. So what I'm going to do is up at the top here, I'm just going to dip my, my brush in some paint, or I should say some ink, and I'm going to hopefully get some drips, which I totally forgot. Give me a minute because I totally forgot to do something. What I need to do first is wet the paper. Now because this isn't full watercolor paper, it's probably not going to run down the paper as nice as I would like it to. I have to really purchase watercolor paper instead of mixed media paper but as you can kind of see I'm not too worried about that right now so All right, let me go to my clean water here I swear I thought I remembered buying like a painter's tape, but I can't find it as usual. So I'm going to go into this orangey color. It's actually more of a yellow. Now these inks are very strong and they're water based, so you always have to make sure that when you're dealing with this it's going to lift so unless you put a fixative actually onto the actual um, finished piece itself what's going to happen is you have to make sure that you seal it somehow okay now, as you can kind of see, you're starting to see it start to drip down, which is what I want. Now i got to go back to the purple here. And I don't want to muddy up the colors either. So let's see what we get. I'm gonna, it's going to be hard for me to kind of show you guys. But what I'm going to do is just lift this up. I hope you, maybe you can see it better this way if I do it this way. Okay. And I really need a spray bottle. 
I will return. I gotta go get some Okay, I'm back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and spray because I want those colors to run. as best as we can get them to run. And I have parchment paper down here on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm gonna start adding basically all I'm doing is just taking these paints and laying them down in these inks. And making them run. Okay. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see. A little bit more. We got some grays. Okay, we're going to take a little bit more spray, and this is just water, this is all this is, and I'm doing this because I want those colors to run, and that's why I said I probably would have been better off with a more of a watercolor paper, more so than mixed media, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm working with. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit more teal. I'll take a little bit more of this color. We'll make a green. We'll take a little bit more of that. And what happens is once your brush starts, or once your paper starts to dry, then you're not going to get the effect of it, of the dripping. Move this up a little. We're going to do a little bit more spraying. going to go this way. Now we're going to go this way. And now we're going to go down. Just going to help this along a little. And then we're going to let this dry. And then basically, what's going to happen is we are then going to work on the actual painting itself. I kind of want it, I don't want gray. See what 
happens is when these colors kind of mix together, if you have to kind of help them along, you end up with like a mottled gray color when they mix, which isn't always what you want, but... I'm going to take a little bit more Take a little bit more of the purple. I'm going to add some purple down here. And then we're going to take a little bit more teal in this area and in this area. Okay. And I'm constantly washing off my brush. that drip. And again, I'm going to take a little bit of a spray. onto the paper. And I could still see all my pencil marks, so. So I know where I need to work with. Okay. So when I come back, this will be completely dried and we will start working on the actual picture itself and making the picture into a painting. Okay? So we'll see you in another minute.